Here we have a set of math question. Function f is defined by f of x equals to negative a to the x power positive b, where a and b are constants. In the xy plane, the graph of y equals to f of x negative 12 as a y intercept at 0, comma negative 75 over 7. The product of a and b is 320 over 7. What is the value of a? Okay, in the given function f of x equals to negative a to the x power positive b, we have to find the value of a. And also this function, uh, so this is y equals to f of x negative 12. So the y intercept of this function is given, that is 0, comma negative 75 over 7. Okay, but this, in this function, uh, so this part is not complete, uh, but uh, we know that uh, the, we know the stuff which is equivalent to f of x. Okay, so first let's complete the function over here. That is, uh, let me write the given function as it is, that is y equals to f of x negative 12. For this function only, we have this y-intercept. Okay, now uh, in this function, we can replace this f of x by negative a to the x power positive b because this is the expression equivalent to f of x. So we can plug in this expression for this f of x over here. Then I'm getting negative a to the x power positive b. So I have plugged in this expression for f of x and apart from that, we have uh, negative 12. Okay, the question says uh, the y-intercept of uh, this function is 0, negative 75 over 7. That is, uh, we can plug in the exponent uh, 0 for this x over here, the y coordinate negative 75 over 7 for y over here. Okay, let me do it. So let me plug in uh, the y coordinate negative 75 over 7 for y. And uh, let me plug in the exponent 0 for uh, x over here, positive b, negative 12. So negative 75 over uh, 7 equals to so negative, uh, anything to the power 0 is equal to 1. So uh, negative a to the 0 power will become negative 1, positive b, negative 12, negative 75 over 7 equals to, when I combine this negative 1 and negative 12, I'm getting negative 13. So now if I solve this equation for b, and I can plug in the value of b into the product of a and b, I can solve for a, because my aim is to solve for a. Okay, now let's uh, continue solving for b in this equation. Okay, let me write the same equation over here. That is negative 75 or 7 equals to b negative 13. So to solve for b, I have to get rid of this negative 13. For that, I have to add 13 to both sides. When I do so, this negative 13 positive 13 will cancel. I'm getting negative 75 or 7 positive 13 equals to b. Okay, here uh, we are adding a fraction and an integer. So whenever I add a fraction and an integer or whenever I do subtraction between a fraction and an integer, what I need to do is I have to multiply the integer part by the denominator of the fraction. Once I'm done with this multiplication, I can take this denominator 7 as a common denominator. Okay, negative 75. I'm taking this positive sign as it is. When I multiply this 13 uh, by this denominator 7, I'm getting uh, 91. Now I have multiplied this uh, integer 13 by this denominator 7. So now I can take this 7 as a common denominator over here equals to b. Okay, now when I simplify this negative 75, positive 91, I'm getting uh, 16 and in denominator of 7 uh, equals to b. So now I got the value of b, that is 16 over 7. Okay, now I can use uh, the product of uh, a and b, that is uh, 320 over 7, uh, to get the value of a. So the product of a and b, that is a times b equals to 320 over 7. Okay, we know the value of b, the value of b is uh, 16 over 7, so we can plug in this 16 over 7 for b equals to 320 over 7. Okay, to get the value of a, uh, I just have to get, the, get rid of this fraction 16 over 7. For that, uh, I multiply both sides by 7 over 16, which is a reciprocal of 16 over 7. Okay, on the right side also, let me multiply uh, by 7 over 16. So this 16, 16 will cancel, 7, 7 will cancel. We just get a on the left side. And this 7, 7 will cancel out. 16 goes into 16 one time. 16 goes into 32 twice. And we have 0 over here. And we get 20 on the right side. Okay, now I got the value of A. The value of A is 20.